What do you do when your blooms are out and it comes a frost? Well, it hadn't happened yet, but it might happen soon, right? Yeah. With all the predictions of all the cold weather that's supposed to be on us in the next day or so, um, people are calling, already want to know, what do I do about everything that's bloomed out? Uh, you know, they're tender little things. Exactly. Everything has come out. It's tender. We've had some beautiful weather for the last week or so, or two weeks or so, uh, and people are, are frantic, and they want to know what to do, and I'm thinking, common sense. Cover it. You know, but, take, take an old bed sheet, yeah. if you've got a bed sheet at home, take your blankets Blanket. or anything like that, or come to Evergreen and get some frost cloth, and let's just cover those blooms up. And that way, whenever it does get cold, it protects them. And, and I've got some great sheets of plastic that I use when I paint, and I can spread those. No, 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 you don't want to use plastic. Oh. Because guess what happens? I don't know. Well, you put, Obviously. <laughs> you, you put the plastic on top of those blooms, the frost hits it, it burns them. Oh. If you forget to take it off, mm -hmm. the sun comes up, the sun's going to bake that plant. So you do not want to use plastic. You always use a cloth. Okay. Like I said, old bed sheets that you've got, you can come and get some frost cloth, blankets that you've got, just depending on what you know is going to really happen. Right. Now, the forecast that we're calling for, we're going to get a lot of wind, but the temperatures are going to drop and everything. As long as we have a windy windy evening, mm -hmm. it's great because oh, okay. the wind is going to keep the frost from falling on everything. Mm -hmm. And then also, if we have snow, which they're predicting, but it's going to be in the higher elevations, yep. but if we had snow, that's a blanket, so it's not going to hurt anything. Really? So just keep in mind, if they're calling for a heavy frost, okay. Uh, you may want to cover up your blooms to keep them from getting damaged. Right. Uh, the Japanese maples are putting out now, so that's what we're having the biggest controversy over right now is the Japanese maples because they just leafed out, and people don't want their Japanese maples to turn brown. So get you something, cover it up. Keep in mind, though, no matter what you put over top of it, if it comes a hard frost and it's laying on top of that bloom or that leaf, mm -hmm. it may burn that a little bit, okay. but it will recover. All right. And uh, has our early kind of weird spring as as that made things worse this year as far as are things blooming earlier than normal uh, not really no no okay. it's just uh, the weather's unpredictable yeah you know it and, sure and is I always say every time we have a late Easter we have some big freezes mm. so keep that in mind you we heard. actually we actually had a big freeze I'm thinking three to five years ago, I can't mm. remember. But anyway, it was a late uh, it was a late Easter, and we had a big major freeze, and we lost a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff recovered, a lot of stuff got lost. Well, there you have it. And if you have any other questions, you can call them right here at Evergreen Home and Garden Showplace on Riverport Road in Kingsport or their other location in Colonial Heights. Check it out, and check out their ad in the current VIP Scene Magazine. Thanks a lot, Karen. Thank you.